wasn't planning on making a video, but according to Pinky and the Brain, I'm supposed to dress like a grunger. <laughs> See how all this works to perfection. But what I was going to tell you, Alex, you said the other day that the FBI is investigating you for being a possibly being a Russian agent. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> you know what I want to do? I want to fly to the Kremlin, right? Just fly to Moscow, right? And uh, meet with President Putin and, like, record the conversation. And we could talk about stuff like, you know, hey, let's 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 spread uh, some Russian propaganda on Facebook, or 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 we could talk about Texas seceding. Hey, Uncle Vlad, you want to get it? You want to corner the oil market with me? What we'll do is, because uh, America's lost their minds and they're scaring me up there. Maybe it's a constitutional right that tech that states can secede. Well, maybe if I can convince my fellow Texans to secede down here, what we could do, Uncle Vlad is uh, actually secede and we'd work with Russia on cornering the oil market. <clears throat> of course, I've talked about that before and said I'd run that by DOD first because, I mean, they'll actually whack you. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm talking about legally here. <laughs> that's, that's not what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm just trying to prove a point here. I, I wouldn't have to run that by Russia. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, might, I could do that without Russia. All right. I'd save myself the headache. I'd wait until we had done it and we were our own country, and then I'd call Russia. <laughs> it's fucking shit's ridiculous. <laughs> so the point that I'm trying to prove is I could go to Russia legally. Okay, I could legally go over there, sit down with Putin, record this conversation, come back to America, and when the FBI came up to me and said, you're under investigation, sir, we believe you're an FBI, or, or I mean a, uh, <laughs> we believe you're a, a Russian agent, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, really? Oh, here, here's the tape I just had with Putin. <laughs> dang it, dang it, he didn't fall for it, man, damn it. <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous. If they're actually investigating you for being a Russian agent, Alex, uh, just tell them you are. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> next time they ask you anything, go, by the way, I'm a Russian agent. <laughs> what next? <laughs> what are they going to do? <laughs> what, what makes it illegal to be a Russian agent? <laughs> There's no law that says that a civilian can't be a Russian agent. Not unless you're trying to undermine the United States of America with through illegal practices, right? But if you were following all the laws in America and you're a Russian agent, it's not illegal. <laughs> There's nothing illegal about it. Not a damn thing. Especially in today's day and age where you might have Russian technology in you and you're not even aware of it. You're not even aware that you're a Russian agent, right? Because America has American technology that's controlling people's minds. Well, Russia can hack that technology and turn your grandma into a Russian agent, right? Yeah, a little food for thought there. The other thing worth mentioning is everybody in Hollywood and the entire Democratic Party apparently are Chinese agents. <laughs> so, so it's okay to be a Chinese agent who's actually communist. See, Russia's a democracy. It's a lot more of a democracy than communist China. And I like Chinese people. But I'm just show, I'm just pointing something out here. I don't I don't have anything against China. If you want to be a Chinese agent in America, be a Chinese agent. If you want to be a Mexican agent in America, be a Mexican agent. If you want to be an English agent in America, be an English agent. Because a lot of people are, especially in politics. Most of them are Chinese agents. They're, as the clergy plan says, Asian Negroids. And most of them are owned by Jews, all right? They're puppets to Jews or China, okay? See, everybody got into the puppet leader business, right? But for some reason, if you're a Russian agent, there's a, there's a problem with that. And all it was was a big psyop because they're getting ready to, they know they're on the cusp of all of this being exposed and they got to blame it on somebody, right? Well, Russia, they, Russia always comes in handy. And that's fine. You can do your little Cuban Missile Crisis and all that, which was all bullshit, by the way. But what, <clears throat> what this time where they've hacked people's minds and tortured them in the name of science in their own homes and violated their constitutional amendments and all that stuff, fuck your scapegoats.
I don't care. Yeah, if it was something that I really didn't care about, we'll make Russia, because we do it all the time. We go tit for tat for shit like that. You know, to get each other out of little binds that we're in. Look, you're torturing people in their own homes, targeted individuals all over the country. You're covering it up, and you're looking for a scapegoat, and you're going to, you've, I've already destroyed your Russian narrative, okay? You're not going to go anywhere with any of that. You're going to be exposed, the people that are guilty. The United States fucking government is going to be exposed for hacking people's minds and election meddling, okay?